Um, okay, so we will take questions from the floor to start, and then we will rotate between the floor and the phones. Um, each reporter will have one question and one follow-up. I'm Matt Kenny, and here's some Canadian news. I know it can be hard to understand what the politicians are really saying, so I'm here to translate it for you. So to start, we'll start with Tom Vernon from Global. Hi, Minister. Thanks for taking my question. Just going through this, I mean, the revelation that environmental organizations were campaigning against Alberta infrastructure projects, I mean, you named a few examples of what they were doing. These were very public examples. Was anything nefarious? Did this report find anything nefarious? Well, the, the report itself didn't suggest that anything illegal was going on. We weren't asking them to look into whether there were illegal, uh, illegal uh, things happening. But what we do know, and if you ask people in Alberta who lost their job if they think anything wrong happened, I'm pretty sure they would say yes. People were hurt, they lost their jobs, they lost their savings, their families were impacted, the province was impacted, the income that we need in this province to pay for essential services were impacted. So was it illegal? No. Was it wrong? I think the majority of Albertans would say it was wrong, and they want to know how it happened, who was involved and how they can make sure it doesn't happen to the energy resources of the future. No. Looking at the recommendations, um, better engagement uh, with First Nations, better tracking of greenhouse gas emissions, better development, encouraging development of low carbon solutions. I mean, aren't these the sorts of things that we've been hearing from these environmental organizations to begin with? Well, I think what we can learn from the report is uh, and understand from their strategy is how successfully they deployed it and implemented and how much they collaborated together to work together in a common interest. On the other hand, what the report found is pro-resource proponents operate in silos. They op often work as if they're competing with one another. We have to change that. We have to learn from their tactics on the need to work together and to not work in silos if we want to ensure that they're these types of campaigns don't impact us as we try to develop hydrogen. Um, imagine where they would go, where, where they are going with hydrogen. They label the oil sands as dirty oil, as tar sands. They're now going after, uh, after hydrogen and uh, blue hydrogen made from natural gas. They're going to call that dirty hydrogen. We can't ever let that happen in Alberta. Yes, they have been saying that for many years. But we needed our own guys to tell us that. 